Well, ladies and gentlemen, a very good afternoon. Welcome to the Celebrity Theater. Thank you so much for joining us today. How's your day so far? Are you enjoying yourselves? Yes? I have to say, and I, I, I tried to let you know as early as we could this morning, what an incredibly fortunate morning we had sailing in with the absolute perfect crystal clear view of Mount Fuji. I hope you got photos. I, have, I hope you realized how lucky we were with the weather today. And you can see the clouds moved in and even by lunchtime we're starting to block the view. And I hope that uh, whether you just stayed local or you went off on some of the tours that you enjoyed this next beautiful destination here in Japan. And today, compliments of the local authorities here, they've offered a short presentation Presentation of beautiful traditional Japanese entertainment by bringing the local geisha show here on board the ship. So today, ladies and gentlemen, we also have a very special host. He works for the local city hall government here. Ladies and gentlemen, he'll be your host for today's show. This is Dave. Hi, everyone. My name is Dave. I work for the local city hall here, and it's my pleasure to introduce to you the Shimizu Geiki Geisha Troupe. So, um, I'm sure you guys are familiar with geisha. Typically, when you say geisha, they're more associated with Kyoto. Has anyone been to Kyoto so far? Okay, very good. Uh, did anyone try the kimono dress up today here in Shimizu? Okay, very good. Thank you. All right, so Shimizu Geigi actually got their start uh, over 100 years ago. Actually, this year, 2019, Shimizu celebrates its 120th anniversary since it opened to foreign trade. 120 years ago, do you guys know what we got famous trading to other countries? Tuna. Ah, not quite. You couldn't ship it frozen back then. Tea, Tea very good. Tea was an easy product to ship back in 1899. And I'm not sure if you guys know this, but back in the U.S. in 1899, there was a pretty big Japanese green tea boom. So a lot of local merchants got rich, and when you have rich Japanese merchants in 1899, their favorite form of entertainment is geishas. So around here, around the port, there were lots of different geisha houses, and one of them still stands to this day, and it's the Shimizu Geigi Geisha House. All the women who are performing here today are authentic geisha entertainers. That means this is their full-time job. They don't have any part-time work outside of what you see today. And when they're not performing, they're training. And when they're not training, they're performing. So I hope you guys enjoy a taste of our local traditional culture. It's made possible by the local Chamber of Commerce and Industry, which pays their salary. And today, the Shimizu Geigi will be performing three songs for you guys. I will give a brief uh, English explanation of what each song means. And then at the end of the songs, uh, we'll play a traditional geisha game. So if anyone from the audience would like to participate in the game, 
you can just raise your hand and you can come up here on stage. We've already got some people pointing at their wives. <laughs> All right, and then at the end of the game, uh, you guys will have the chance to come up to the front of the stage and take a photo of the geisha if you want, um, but only the participants in the game will have the special chance to come up on stage and have their picture taken together with the geisha. So please do consider joining the game. Anyway, without further ado, let's welcome the Shimizu Gegi. Thank you. Our first piece is called Tea Picking Song. This song was written nearly 100 years ago to promote Shizuoka and Shimizu, which are famous for their green tea. During the song, the dancers hold baskets and simulate picking tea. The word that's said during the song, chakkiri, is a local variation that means pick the tea in Japanese. Chakkiri bushi desu. Sore dewa yoroshiku onegaishimasu. Chop, eat, chop, eat, chop. 